In today's English lesson, you are going to learn how Canadians celebrate Canada Day. But I do need to put a disclaimer in front of this video. A disclaimer is basically telling you something could be wrong. Canadians love to celebrate with beef. They love to celebrate with pork. So you might see some beef or pork eaten during this video. And I can almost guarantee you might see some alcohol. And I know that is haram for so many people watching. So if you think any of that is going to bother you, you may want to skip this lesson. One more warning you are also probably going to see a lot of maple leaves. Canadians love to dress like their flag. They love to use plates like their flag. So lots of maple leaves today. In English, we call that a propane tank. I should also mention I'm at my brother's house. He is not Canadian, but his wife is. All right, my brother doesn't want me to open this up yet, but this is not a grill. I will show you a grill in a little bit. This is called a Blackstone. You can see it right there. It just cooks a little bit differently from a grill, but all the Canadians are, are really busy preparing for the party. So we'll have to wait a little bit before we can interview some of them. All right, I think there is a grill or two. Yeah, let's go take a look and see what a grill is like. They're not using these today. Yeah, so a grill has these little black things. We probably actually call it a grill. And what my brother will be cooking on soon, that's going to be completely flat. I almost think my brother is heating his pool with this thing. You can see there are two propane tanks here, and it is actually quite warm while I'm standing next to it. Let's look at all the wood here. My brother, in the winter, heats his house with wood. He has a, a wood stove inside. I'm wondering how many people around the world will heat their house with wood. It takes a lot of work. We might say that it is labor intensive, chopping up all of the wood, stacking all of the wood. Let's go take a look at my brother. This is my brother Ben over here, and he is uh, preparing the Blackstone. Is it Blackstone? It is Blackstone. Yeah, it's Blackstone. It says it right there, and it's not hot yet, I don't think. What is the name of that tool you're using? Just a griddle scraper. Griddle scraper. I'm not sure when you will ever need to use that in your English, but at least you now know that is a griddle scraper. And it looks like he is wiping some, some oil uh, on the blacks. Grease. Bacon grease. From breakfast. From breakfast. Yes. Okay, so um, remember we talked about pork products being used and they might be haram for some people. Canadians and Americans, um, most of us at least, love bacon. Look at this, even the trash can today has a Canadian flag on it. I just asked a Canadian if I could interview him. He said no. He is still putting up Canadian flags. Not quite ready yet. While they're still preparing for the party, let's go over and look at some more wood. This is crazy. Wood over here. I could probably do an entire English lesson back here talking about all of the things that he has, but look at all that wood. Tons of wood back there. We would call those logs. Lots of tools back here. Let me know if you want to see an English lesson from my brother's backyard, let me know in the comments. Oh, and while we're still waiting, this might be a good time to remind you to subscribe, like, all those things that YouTubers ask for. We were talking about alcohol earlier. Let's check and see what is going to be drank at this party. So yeah, there's a cooler with some ice. Yeah, it looks like a Corona. Anyone who's watching from Mexico, Mexican beer there. What's in this cooler? Oh, okay, more beer. Look, oh, look at some waters. Well, that's good, keep everybody hydrated. When did you start it then? Uh, yesterday afternoon. Thanks, Ben. All right, we got, we got some we got some food coming out on the grill here. 
think my brother put these buns out here. You can see there are hot dog and hamburger buns. I think he wants to kind of steam them in the bag because it is actually really warm out here. This is the moment of truth right here. My brother has the, the Blackstone prepared and he is going to be putting these patties on the Blackstone. Yes, we call those things patties. I don't hear a sizzle. Oh, I hear a little sizzle. We would call that a sizzle in English, that sound. All right, Ben, I do have a question. What did you season these burgers with? Um, garlic, onion, salt, and pepper. All right, garlic, onion, salt, pepper, pretty, pretty standard. Was keep that? it simple. All right, keep it simple. Then he's gonna brown these up. That might be a new verb for you. You probably know the color, but you can actually brown something. So he is going to turn that meat from pinkish to brownish. I think we are going to have a, a Canadian citizen and a Canadian dog in, in just a few minutes. Finally, got a Canadian to agree for an interview. So this is Shauna and I'm gonna let her tell her story, but notice the Canadian accent. It's slightly <laughs> different from mine. Shauna, take it away. Hi, my name is Shauna, and I'm from originally from Ottawa, Canada. I actually met Brent after we moved here to uh, work, and I lived in Lewiston, Maine for about 12 years. And a couple years ago, we moved back to the Ottawa area in Canada. So you are currently a Canadian celebrating Canada Day in the United States. Yeah. How do you think other Canadians would feel about that? I think they'd be okay with it. Yeah. Is it unpatriotic? How, how is the relationship between Canadians and Americans, you think? I think it swings both ways, really. I think, uh, I think that there's a lot of Canadians that have a lot of respect for Americans. And I think there's a lot of Canadians who just don't see or know the American culture. Oh, they it took me 12 years of living here to actually really put it all together and I have an American daughter and I'm really proud of the United States. Good call. So your daughter was born here in the United States. That's right. Yep. Yeah. And what were some of the hard things to adjust to when you came from Canada to the United <laughs> States? The healthcare system. <laughs> Yeah, that could be a whole separate video that we won't get into yeah. today, but <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, that's a thing. That's a huge thing. Yeah. What was it like growing up in Canada? It was wonderful. Um, it was uh, lots of really great people, great community, um, kind people, unpretentious. Um, Did you eat a lot of poutine? You know, I feel like poutine was not around until I was probably about 10 or 12 years old. And we would go to Quebec to go skiing because Ottawa is on the border with Quebec. And we would go to um, an area called the Gatineau Mountains to go skiing. And that's when I was introduced in those days to poutine. To poutine. And yeah, yeah. I... Maybe I'm saying it wrong. I say poutine. You said? Poutine. Poutine. Oui. C'est ça. So it's a little French. Okay. I've been saying it wrong <laughs> totally this whole time. It's French. Yeah, it's totally French. Did you eat a lot of maple syrup on your pancakes? Absolutely. That's yes. a Canadian staple? Absolutely. And again, living so close to the Quebec border, there was a lot of maple syrup. Now, how about hockey? When I think of Canada, I think of hockey. Did you play hockey growing up or I did, did your not, no. siblings? No, I'm an only child and I did not play hockey. And I'm really embarrassed to say this, but I was n I have never been a hockey fan until I moved to Lewiston, Maine, where we owned and operated a nice arena. <laughs> so what would happen if anybody is watching from Canada and as a Canadian, you said you don't like hockey? Would they be mad? Yeah, they would think like she is super un-Canadian. Yeah. And I forgot to mention, we are just having this conversation, but Shauna actually has Canadian sunglasses on. And a Canadian flag in her drink. Happy Canada Day. There is a dog just below camera here. And um, Shauna told me an interesting story about her dog that I would love for her to tell you. So this is our dog, Mabel. And we got Mabel here in Maine five years ago. 
and we were trying to decide on a name and we knew that it had to be Canadian but we thought we went through a whole bunch of names and we kind of like started closing in on the name Maple and we were going to call her Maple Leaf and my daughter said well I don't really like the way that Maple rolls off the tongue how about Mabel we loved it so her name is Mabel Leaf Kane about a couple months after we got her paperwork, we had no idea when her birthday was, and it turns out her birthday was Canada Day, July 1st. So today is her fifth birthday. And Shauna used a, a very native English saying right there, roll off the tongue. It basically means the way you say something, if it's easy to say. So a lot of English learners, clothes, sixth. That's hard, it doesn't roll off the tongue. Shauna, thank you so much for joining me on the channel. And I would love to know in the comments, do we have the same accent or <laughs> is it slightly different? Thank you. Bye, guys. We're in a truck. We heard the yeah, commercial. It's real. We might say that there's quite a spread there on the table. Lots of food. The food is all cooked. I need to go eat. From what I'm told, all of the other Canadians around here, and there are like five more, they're all very camera shy. They do not want to get on camera for an interview, but I want to give a huge thanks to Shauna. She did it. It's hard. It's not easy getting on camera, even if you are a native English speaker. If you are looking for more English lessons, right up there is a playlist of like 20 hotel English lessons, all in the United States. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.